Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a weather map measure map. So, to go to weather map setup, now we're going to use a me and a underground station ID. So, I've got one here to use, and we put in the name. This is going to be New York, and there it is there. Now if we click on update now, we should get the data from that station. Now this value is wrong because of, I use Wonderground with metric data, so it's picking up that by cookie. So I need to tick that it's metric data. So we'll now update that again. And then that is correct. Okay, so that's now for um, Fahrenheit and everything. Now we want to set up the up, auto update time. So if we do that every 10 minutes and we turn that switch on. Okay, so you can add other stations. So if we go to this underground map here, and let's say this station over here. That's that one there. So let's add another underground station. We'll just go, this is New York Poo. Just update that now. There's a second station. Um, you can actually use META stations or CWOP stations or even client raw file stations. Okay, so the next thing we want to do then is go to actual view and then your weather map. Now here's those two stations updated, but we want to update, we want to choose a map file for the background. So I've already got one that I've already saved. Here's the map background. Okay, so now, it's, but it's too small, so you want to make it wider. So let's put in 800 and 800, wider and higher. Now that's a bit, a bit distorted, so we'll make that 700 and 700. Still a bit distorted. 500, well, that's pretty close. 600, and we'll make that 500, or we'll make that 600. 500 by 600, make it a little bit wider. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, now it's a little bit distorted still, so we're going to go a bit wider. There we go. Now we can now go hold down the control button on the keyboard and then, or the shift button, and then left mouse click and hold the left mouse click and the shift button on the keyboard. And let's move that station to whereabouts it should be near enough. And we'll do the same with this one. Okay. And all these other stations, which we're not using, you know, we can we can sort of move out of the way. No, it's just doing an update of, of the time schedule that I said to update. Um, you can also set it to just show the temperature. So when you do that, you want to actually go back and re-update it from the original setup here. So let's just re-update it to get the temperature only data. And then we go back to here. And there you go, you just got your temperature only data. Okay, now there's a few other options. And actually have it to show graphs, see? And it even has the mouse over with the data at that graph position. It also creates in the web files folder Mesomap Hot. Now 
and that should be created with auto update time. All right, let's wait for the next update, automatic update. Let's do one, set auto update times, let's do one in the next minute. I'll just pause the video. All Okay, I've uh, had the Mesomap been updated automatically. We open that up. There we go. So it actually has got a hot mouse over. So if I click on that, it'll actually take me to the actual weather station that that data is coming from.